Hello friends, this is Eddie and welcome to a new game, Dig or Die. It came out yesterday and I uh, just got it. It was just a couple bucks on Steam and I kind of wanted to check it out. It looked, uh, looked a little interesting and again it was just a couple bucks so I figured why the heck not. You can see we're on version 0 0.046 so it's very early access. That's fine. Uh, and uh, I wanted to get like a full, I wanted to answer really two questions. Question one is, uh, is it worth it slash should I play more of this game? And obviously whether or not I'm going to record and upload any more of this game depends on your feedback, but uh, I could just play it on my own, so I kind of want to just explore that, but then also... Uh, uh, how much, to help me answer that question, I need to sort of answer how much of this game is there out there. Um, so let's start with this menu. Um, because it's so early access, we're not sure, I'm not sure how much is in the game. I see we got resolution, full screen, volumes, the like. Quick help, which, uh, we can read a little later. I think I got this all now. I actually did give you my first reaction, or I tried to give you my first, uh, instinctual reaction to the game without uh, ever playing it before, and then the fire alarm in my building went off, and we all had to evacuate and then come back, so... Uh, I'm just gonna start a new game. Uh, I'm gonna start... Easy was very easy, so I'm gonna start on normal. I'm gonna see how that goes. I'm not sure what's gonna be different. You are a representative of the Craft & Co. Company. You are selling automated fabrication tools across the galaxy until the day you crash on a dangerous wild planet. I read that really fast because... Um, you have to read it quick. Alright, so I'm going to put my gun on my heart bar here. This here, this yellow thing, that is your, basically your, your it's called miniaturizer. It miniaturizes the blocks and picks them up. Um, and you don't need to have it selected. Uh, so I just, I'm putting it over there on the right side of my bar because there's no hotkeys for that. And I never really need to equip this thing. Um, and then we have this here, which is basically your crafting area. What's it actually called? Auto builder. Now this this thing here gives you tips. Now one thing to note is that this world looks awfully similar to the world that I played before. Okay, no, it oop 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 stay away from there. Okay, it is it is different. But not by necessarily a whole lot. So let's pop that down, press E. We see some crafting recipes here. Now, I, I really depended on this plasma shotgun before, so I'm going to go ahead and craft uh, two ore. I need to get five ore, so let's just... Whoa, whoops, wrong button. Uh, let's go ahead and start taking out some of these guys. Whoa. We have to hurry up and, and sort of... Uh, we got a pistol here, sort of, or a rifle. What's it actually called? Plasma rifle, yes. Just a single shot, and you gotta reload. Uh, okay, these enemies look, seem kind of feel like they have more health than on easy mode. Maybe not. It kind of feels very similar. Actually, it looks about the same. So, one of the, my favorite parts of this game is the way the water works, and we're gonna see it here in a second, I think. But uh, you know, okay, just taking out these enemies and picking up the scrap metal that got flung across the world during the crash. Now I really have to stay on these bees. As you saw, the bee drops the crystal. Um, and that is required for the, the rifle I was starting at. So here's a great example. Uh, I can dig these blocks and if I break go this way and then I break this, the water level normalizes like that. Which I think is really neat, personally. I like things like that. This is one of the things that, that took a lot get of getting used to playing Minecraft was, you know, getting, basically forgiving it for the fact that its water was so strange, because the way it worked always kind of irked me. So I'm not sure how many of these crystals I need, but... So here we have, you know, not just dirt anymore, but stone and ore, which we cannot mine. So we gotta make sure we don't go too far away, first of all. Can't go down the cave because it's too dark. Can't see anything. What did you doing? Here we go. Here comes the rain. Now the rain, as you can see, is really heavily raising the water level. Like it's raining buckets 
And you can even see that there's a visible slant in the ocean, which is kind of funny. Um, and if we if we make it, then the rain passes quite quickly, though. So it kind of balances out that way. And I kind of like it, but if we head back to where we're going... Oh, we didn't make it in time, but... Um, you know, the, if we if the ra if we were, had been over here when the rain had happened, uh, our entire starting platform would be underwater, which is kind of interesting. So, okay, there's lots of dogs. I think there's definitely more enemies uh, here in normal mode. I feel like that's kind of the only difference, though. So that's good. So let's um, you know, let's get some. Definitely get some. I don't know what these tall grasses do. Might as well get some though, and we'll get the uh, the trees here, at least the tall ones that are probably all done growing. And this way, this time we'll travel in the other direction, but uh, night is getting kind of close. It's a little unfortunate that we didn't get... Uh, so let's get some bottles, and we'll turn the bottles into health potions, and we'll put those on number nine. And then let's get a couple of walls. Let's get something like that. Platforms. Um, and let's build over here. So six. Oh, oh, no, I'm sorry. That's the wrong thing. I have to pull my inventory and start replacing these things. Now I am going to put my materials over here so I can sort of get a, a peek at how many of everything I have. But anything that I actually need to build with really should be on a, on a spot with a number. Wow. So we'll go one, two, three. The building, admittedly, a little strange. Um, let's go one, two, three. And I don't think we... Oh, we can make that jump. <clears throat> okay. Well, we could put these here to help us make the jump. Right. There we go. Uh, and that'll be our shelter. That thing is going to fill up with water crazy quick. Alright, now before nighttime happens, let's see if we can... Oh, hold on. Ooh, hit one more. Yeah. Get that crystal. Oh man, they're hitting me. Okay, I also have a lot less health. I had a hundred health on easy mode, so that's a that's a different dis uh, difference. Oh, critical! All right, let's uh, let's travel back. Health is regening. Let's note that. There's something really important that I want to show you if we get the opportunity. Oh, uh oh. Okay, well, here's one thing. It's nighttime. And we do not have a the ability to jump across this. So that's interesting. Uh, this might be this might be pretty rough. Probably should have kept that guy around so I could see what I'm doing. Oh Jesus. Is that a fish? Yeah, that's a fish. Alright. Oh my god, there's so many of them. This is way more than on... <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Retreat back into the cave a bit. Oh, gotta reload. Oh man. I kinda have to... Periodically shoot just to. Oh! Alright, if I can make it through the night. Night is almost over. I'm gonna have to resort to some other tactic to get up the hill. Right, to digging. I, did, I wanted to show you something, but I don't think I was gonna be able to pull it off. There we go. You can you can boost yourself up by jumping. That's what I wanted to show you. Okay. Oh. And daytime. Oh man, we're almost dead. Let's not die. 
right after we got to daytime. And the good thing about surviving that is that we have so many materials now. So, let's head back over here. And, uh, oh. Oh, wow. They have destroyed my platform. I did not experience that. They did drop the building materials, which is nice. So it's just a matter of pu whoa. putting it back. Um, okay, so let's get, you know, that by the shotgun. And, ooh, there we go. Now, next thing I'm going to get, I'm going to get two more ores. I'm going to get the Auto Builder Mark II, which is basically just an upgraded crafting table, slightly bigger. And this is about as far as I got. I'm going to get the miniaturizer, the next tier, the miniaturizer, uh, which we'll put back in the last slot. Now, I think we found ores this way. So I'm not exactly sure what it does. I think it does dig... Oops. Definitely does dig faster, I think. Uh, yeah, this thing wrecks. Oh, well. Uh -huh. Let's just go find those ores. Oh, boy. Okay. Boom! There we go. I don't think that's actually giving me the ore. Oh no, it is. And there is air, which is about to run out. Oh wow, okay, and then it starts damaging you pretty quick. As I guess it should, so that's fine. Let's get some, some stone. <laughs> Fish out of water. Alright, let's go down and get some more stone. So I do like the, the, the visuals. It's very cartoony. It's very hand-drawn. Um, kind of reminds me of pixel piracy. It, it, what pixel piracy would look like if pixel piracy wasn't pixel art. Uh, it, it does sort of have this look like everything was made in like MS Paint or someone who or like GIMP maybe which is totally fine um, especially because everything still does stick to the same style which is in my opinion the most important part you know nothing seems to be given more detail than anything else in the game really anyway so there's this next, there's this machine gun, low damage, but so pleasant, high fire rate. Uh, very cool. So we're going to need energy gem. So I don't know how to get an energy gem, but, you know, things like a flashlight are really, seem like a good idea to me. Um, we don't have any gems though, so we're going to need to go hunting for bees. Um, and there's armor. Uh... There's better building materials, and I do want to get to, like, the turrets, because I never actually have done that. Um, so we'll give that a try, but remember, we gotta... We really gotta... Before we do that... So let me get the shotgun out. This gives you quite a boost uh, when using it to jump. There's a gem. I don't know if I saw stone as a material needed for any of those recipes, so I'll, I'll get some just in case, but I, oh yes, two of them. The flashlight seems really important to me. Um, let's go do that, actually. I feel like we have enough for the flashlight. Whoa! Not see you there. Ah! Nice. Uh, nope. Made the jump. Ah! Nope, oh, here comes the rains. The rains that just fill up the entire plane. Oh, and they destroyed my... See, it just like... The rains just make the water level just... Pretty funny. 
All right, flashlight, that's for sure. Now, how do I do that? Emits must have for spelunkers. So I'm wondering if I put this here, you know, is it just a passive flashlight or is it something that I need to have selected? It is just a passive flashlight. Great, so now we can go exploring in caves. Now I'm guessing, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and guess that we will find the red gems and stuff like that while exploring areas like this. Here's something. And here's the, I've never seen one of these guys before. Very cool, but this it probably gives that mole material that you need for the armor, I would guess, because it looks the same. Ooh, these guys are stronger. They shoot, which is really not cool. They shoot fast, too. Harder to dodge. Okay. I think I saw that there was a drop up here. Yeah, let's get that. Cool, so we can officially make... Oh, jeez. Ah! Stay back. Get out of here! Um... Oh, jeez. Yeah, alright, so at some point we're gonna have to go back up to the surface, of course. Ah! I guess the shotgun's probably a better idea. I was really hoping to find some more... I don't know, what. what's that black thing we just got? I'm not actually sure. This. Coal can be used as a base ingredient to create some polymers. All right, I have I didn't notice any recipe that per se needed coal. Uh, also, now that we're down here, I'm gonna go ahead and just get quite a bit of this stuff, just because um, I feel as though we should have just a lot of this on hand. We don't necessarily have that now. Uh, the music, very nice. I don't know if it was made by the developers or something that was taken. I certainly hope it's not copyrighted, but I suppose we'll find out. Um, uh, okay. Here's more coal. We didn't get much of that up there, so we should probably take the time to get some here. Seems to be pretty rare. Spawning in small chunks every time. But I'm not really prepared to make that dive, so let's let's try an experiment here. Um, I'm going to head to the surface from here, but not the way we came, and then see if we can go home. If we can get home. Because it is the nighttime, but maybe it'll be the daytime by the time we get up. The daytime isn't particularly safe either. There's still enemies. Um, I have to see what it takes to get the next tier. That's my main concern, is to get all the tier... Uh, all, all tiers of crafting benches. That's my main... my main goal. Alright, quite a bit of water. I don't know if that's because of rain. Ah! Oh, I see a light, which I think is probably going to be one of the bees. Ow. Alright, let's go down and get this, actually. Let's get some more air. Oh, shoot the dog. Oh, he's, he's keeping me down. Tricky. <laughs> Oh man, this is, must be the nighttime music. Oh, they're coming in from all angles. <laughs> Someone's digging down through here. I don't know who. Oh, there's a dog. I didn't know they could dig down. I saw them dig across. I didn't know they could dig down. Uh... Pretty rough. Why not? Why not? Why not? Oh shoot! This water actually pushes you. Ah. And it's daytime. 
and the water, and the music gets all peaceful, even though, oh no, oh no, this could be it, this could be the end. Ah, uh, F9, I wonder where that went, well actually that went right here, didn't it? Because we just saved. Alright, hopefully those guys lose aggro on me. Game over. What the heck are you talking about? Um, I won't. I won't reload my save. Oh gosh, they're all coming through. Okay, now I will. That kind of worked. Let's try that again. We just have to be quicker. Go, 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 go. Swim. There we go. Come on, there we are. Now they're stuck. And I drained that entire pool. Game is not over. You lie to me, game. It's alpha. Don't worry. Not gonna be bug free. Look at all these guys stuck here. Too bad you don't have like a grenade or something. Uh. Oh shoot! Don't stand there. Yeah, uh, I, w I really do like. I know that it looks a little maybe jittery and unintentional, but I really do like the effect of what you're shooting controlling your movement so much. I think that it adds a bit of like parkour skill that you wouldn't otherwise get. Uh, Alright, so let's go check our recipes. Still, still looking, still a little short on these crystals. But, you know, I think we're gonna call this first uh, video pretty soon. Is this, is this, is this are there seasons in the game? I feel like there might be seasons or something. I've only been two days though, but this looks... Oh, you know what it is? It's water. The grass looked very yellow to me, and then when the water came down it turned green. Or it turned green, yeah, and then now it's turning into this. Which I don't really know what that is all about. But then it'll probably dry out more once the thing passes. That's pretty cool. Um, so armor. I would like to try that now. Where did it go? Reduces damage. So, I'm going to guess that I just need to have this on my bar. That's my guess. Um, okay, so we did need stone for some stuff and coal for some stuff. We need a lot more coal. And then what's this now? Blue flower contains some unique enzymes, not very common. Okay, okay. A support structure, but can be crossed. So the last thing I will do, I think I have enough resources for this, is we will do this. Uh, okay, we'll do some of that. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <clears throat> so wall, support, back wall. Get messed up. And let's actually build it around around this stuff so it's a little safer in here. So we will go one, two, three. No, let's take this back. And then we'll do this. And one, two, three, four. Hey! It's breaking. Okay, and then we'll get going to seven. We'll get the back wall here. So we need one more back wall. It's kind of unfortunate we have to craft more than we need, but that's okay. And there's our little house. Awesome. Can I put back walls behind that? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Eg exit and entrance. Now, I don't know what's going to happen at night, but, you know, we could come in here. We could craft some of these guys. And we could say, you could put some lights on this. Yeah, you know, stay back, that kind of thing. Put some light out there. Um, really would like to get that red crystal for the machine gun. Oh, we can make a turret. Gatling turret. Press E to inverse its direction. Okay, so there is one downside to this Gatling turret. Which is, what was that again? Press E to inverse? Press E, yeah, probably once I place it. So this turret only has one direction. So let's just put it like, you know, here. If I press E, it'll return. Yeah, 
<clears throat> we can't make another one, can we? Oh, we can. Let's make one more. We'll place it right here. And we'll inverse it. And, um... I kind of want to keep playing so I, I know what happens. Uh, I, I, whoa, whoa. That's what happens. So one last... But we've got a couple more tests. Alright, i got a couple more tests to do. I, I'll, I will hold off for now. So let's press 5. I don't think that I can... First of all, does this protect me from the floods? Yes, it does. Not that that really seems to matter, but... Oh, no, it does not. Just water, water right through the roof. Okay. Uh, I really need to do this part next. So we need to find those blue flowers. So we need to go exploring. Oh, sweet. Get him. All right, so it doesn't even, it doesn't angle itself upwards, which is fine. <sighs> okay, well, um, I'm going to probably pick up, I don't know what you would need grass for. Do we have anything in the little one that wants grass? Or maybe grass is what trees look like before it becomes trees. That's possible. Maybe I should stop picking them up. I'm going to craft one more set of lights, and let's go exploring in the other direction. Try to find some blue flowers, and we can put these lights down in caves to, to light them up as we go. We have the flashlight, but if we want to like, remember our path, we can use the lights. But I'm going to guess that these blue flowers are likely above ground. We haven't gone past this little ocean yet, so let's give that a shot. Now, this map, though, is very similar to the map that I was playing on easy mode. Possibly the same, because th this is what's selling me on it. Now, that looks like the thing we need. So I'm wondering how we get up there, because the only thing that I can think of is building or something. Oh, duh, by building, that's how. So let's see, can we build underwater here? Now here's a question, right? If I do this, and I break this, yeah, they all break. Okay. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge. Oh, but then there wasn't two islands before. It must just be coincidentally similar. They do look eerily similar, but they're not the same. They're definitively not the same. Unless I'm misremembering things, but I don't think I am. Um, I'm curious to see how far the world goes, if it goes on forever, or if it wraps around, and if at some point we will um, be back at our starting point. Need to keep getting those. Another reason why I want to stay on the surface is because we, we really do need to keep getting... Oh, it's red. It's, it's red. You know, this is probably going to drop that red crystal. Oh, dropped a blue one. But it was harder. So I'm wondering now if they... Now I'm starting to think maybe the enemies scale... You can't dig that. Upgrade them. Okay, so we... So that's obviously not the blue flower. I saw that... That... That right there. It looked like the blue flower. I thought maybe we would need... To, uh... Get that, but... I guess not. Oh, unless... Oh, we have no reason to get up there, really. Well, unless here, unless we can dig the ore, can we reach that from here? No. Okay, I don't think we're gonna be able to. No. Too bad. I really want these red guys to uh, to do something. This this one goes long, reaches has a longer fire range. Oh 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 god oh god uh. What in the world? This is not good. Only took four, huh? Oh gosh, this is this. Uh, um. Um, I did not know this would be here. Let's try to keep him more at bay. I feel like we're supposed to have much better weapons for this. Oh shoot. And it's officially nighttime, which means this swarm is going to be coming after us. Get out of my way. Out of my way. Uh, we could even go so far as to block that up a bit. Give us some privacy. Oh man, we went down far. We went down far. Trying to get up a little higher more appropriate uh, height. Let's see, can we dig this? Can we dig that? No. 
So obviously this place is pretty deep, and obviously there's quite a few different types of things you can mine. Uh, there's at least three tiers of, like, my miniaturizers, uh, which means I would guess that there's probably another weapon to go along with the neck. Oh, jeez. That would be a guess. That there's a weapon to go along with the next tier of crafting station. So that leaves... Uh, rifle, shotgun, machine gun, who knows what the last one is. Could be rocket launcher or something, I don't know. I'm not gonna speculate as to what it was. Uh, made it through the night. Awesome. I'm curious to see how far down it goes. As a matter of fact, let's do it. Let's see how far down this goes. I would like to try to kill one of those guys, though. Oh! And in water, huh? Oh, there's light coming from this way. Hello? Oh, it's these guys. Drop something good. I feel like they're just gonna drop... Yeah, yeah. Sort of feel like it's just the type of energy en enemy. These guys maybe have a higher chance of dropping it or something. Oh, fish. They're different colors, I think. Oh, yeah. Eh. I don't see myself killing one of them anytime soon. They got a lot of health. Stay back. So there's basically like a whole other world, right? There's like a whole other level to everything. We might even be able to find at the opposite end of the world if we keep going. We might even be able to find another one, another hole. Maybe. Oh! How about that? The end. That's it. I'm guessing this is probably... Uh, this bottom here might actually uh, be undiggable. It's a different color than the top. So in that case, the world isn't insanely big, but it is pretty big. Um, and I, so I've seen, um, you know, three or four different rock types and then, you know, ore scattered throughout. I've seen three different ore types, but I'm not sure where to get that red crystal that could be an ore we haven't found yet. Uh, there's obviously a blue flower that we haven't found yet. At least three tiers, uh, at least three colors of enemies per type, uh, which would lead me to believe that there's, uh, and also at least three tiers of, of workbenches. Um, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that that's generally summed up pro probably as much as there is in the game right now. Um, there's turrets, though, that we just started to take a look at. Um, there's a couple of those. That was the second tier turret, so there is one before that I think... Uh, I don't know the difference between them, though. Any second now, I feel like we're gonna come across the other side of the world. I'm just kind of curious to see how far it goes. Um, so, what, what's my final verdict after playing this game for all of an hour? Which is not a lot, because uh, it's been a half hour now, and again, I tried to record it earlier. Got a little interrupted. Um, if you're into this kind of thing, and if you want to buy it, buy it now. And there's a reason for that. If you look on the Steam sale, the uh, Steam page, which you can find in the description, the uh, creator said that this game is going to increase in price by like I think two dollars or something every update, um, and until it's at its full price of twelve dollars. And I don't know if that means that that's going to be the full release. And if that's true, then we can figure out. Because right now it's only $3. So the full price of $12 would mean that there's basically going to be 10 updates. Um, so, you know, is it worth the purchase? I would say now, yes. Uh, because you're, you're, because if, if you think you're going to take the developer at um, their word that it will be 10 updates... Uh, then for sure, you know, right now it's probably is three bucks worth of fun. And uh, if you consider that an investment in your fun in the future, that's probably worth it. 
Um, now, we do know that early access developers, especially with the indie games, don't necessarily follow through all the time. Um, so if you're trying, if you're very heart set on having a game this style, uh, that uh, has a lot of content that you really want to get into, go for a Terraria, go for a Starbound. Don't go for this. Um, just because uh, there's no guarantee, because the game isn't done yet, and just because there's a plan to have something done doesn't mean that it will get done. I'm not saying that I have any reason to doubt this particular developer, but, um, you know, it, it's happened, and it's happened a lot. So, just be wary of that. Here we are. End of the world. Oh, and I accidentally minimized it. And there we go. Almost died. Um, I'm not really sure how we're supposed to get back here. Back up. I don't think we can, because I don't have any blocks to build with. I'd have to reload. Oh, I don't know what I would do if I sa saved down here. Matter of fact, I think I did, because I think... Oh, no. Sort of close to down here. Because there's... Yeah. I don't know what would have happened if daytime had come while I, before I managed to get out and an auto save would have happened. I'd have to boot an older save is what would have had to have happened. Uh, yeah, so that about wraps up my uh, initial thoughts here on this game, on Dig or Die. Uh, was it Dig or Die? It was Dig or Die, wasn't it? Let's go back to the menu, actually. Whoops. I will save. We will save over quick save A. I don't know why, just yes. And we'll exit to the main menu. Yeah, dig or die. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's about it. That's my recommendation is that if you want to get in on it for a little bit of fun and you want to see where it goes, you think this kind of thing has a promise, go for it. If you're going to be casual about it, for sure. Definitely would recommend it. It is fun. And who knows what's coming in the future. Uh, but if you're looking for, I oh know, uh, yeah, if you're looking for something that you're going to be playing for the next couple months, uh, like a lot as like your go-to game, get something that's been a little bit more flushed out just for safety's sake. And keep this in mind, but, um, you know, just be aware that the price will rise as it goes. So consider that. Um, that's going to be it for me today. I appreciate that. And I'll see you guys later.